Hey you guys, what's up? We kicking it again and I'm with, I guess I can say, my brother from another mother because this guy, he is so awesome. He's just one of my best friends and uh, he has a new CD. He has so much music. He composes, he sings, he plays instruments, He, you name it, he does it. This guy, this incredible brother, his name is Ian Fleming. What's up, Ian? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you know, I know so much about him. Tell, uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, man, because I'm just so moved with your music and everything. You're just, you're just all that, man. Where are you from? How did you get started with your music? Well, uh, I'm LA native, born in the valley. Um, I was gonna be a porn star, but I <laughs> didn't think there was enough money in that. So. Hot dog it. Uh, I picked music, another, another bad choice if you want money, but no. Um, yeah, you know, just born and raised, you know, in and around LA. Um, started playing music at a sort of young age. I was always interested in art. I drew a lot when I was a kid. Um, and uh, yeah, I just picked up a guitar, you know, about age 15 and fell in love and just stuck with it ever since. Oh, that's mm. awesome, man. So you are actually born here in LA. Yeah. That's amazing, man. This, everybody sort of meet there from everywhere else but LA. Oh, that's awesome, man. So tell us, so you, you started playing at 15 years old. Did you just start singing and playing the guitar? You just picked it up one day? Well, um, I started singing, you know, at a young age. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, just along with the radio or whatever. Um, but uh, I didn't really try to sing and play. You know, I was singing before that. I, uh, with some friends, you know, a friend of mine started to play guitar. So I was the singer. I could sing the best out of all of our <laughs> friends, so by default I was the singer. I love it. Um, but then eventually, you know, I picked up a guitar and I thought that, you know, I would never be able to play and sing at the same time. Wow. But, uh, you know, I just, just kept doing it and the more, I, the more I played, the more I loved it. And it was just, you know, it was natural, man. I love it, I love it. So then you came with Ian Fleming and the Secret Agents, and you wrote the music there too for the band? Oh yeah, well uh, Ritual was actually um, my first real band. Hmm. You know, uh, I started in Ritual when I was about 17. Uh, and we, uh, we were, uh, you know, one of the first black metal bands ah. in the U.S. and probably the first one in L.A. That's amazing. Um, and, you know, we, we were a little notorious, you know, one of our members uh, went to jail for spray painting a church ah! and, uh, you know, <laughs> just mischief and, and uh, you know, so we had a little notoriety. Uh, we, um, we released a couple CDs uh, in the early 90s. And, Sort of uh, got a, a little following in the underground, so that that's that's where I started. And then, uh, you know, after I after I was doing ritual for a few years, I I just felt like I needed to expand my musical horizons, you know, because mm. ritual's you know pretty uh, heavy metal, as as you know. That's right. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, branch out and just see what else was inside me. Well, let me tell you, see, because you seem a little laid back now, but when I got to see you in concert, man, I saw you playing your, your instrument here, you playing your guitar, then next thing I know, you end up on the drums, and man, you're, you're doing it all. How did that happen, man? You playing the drums, you're singing, you're moving. You, you guys got to see him when he's, he's jamming on stage. Yeah, you know, I, I just... Um... I feel like I have songs in my head, you know, I have things in my head and I, I feel like I need to get them out. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of times in my life I didn't have any help. I didn't have a drummer, I didn't have, you know, a guitar player, I didn't have anybody to help me. I didn't have anyone to record the music, so, you know, that that just, that wasn't going to stop me from getting this stuff out of me. That's right. So I just sort of had to figure out how to do it all myself. Whoa. Well, because on this CD, I've noticed everything written, arranged, produced, played, everything. It's like, it's just amazing, man. Yeah, man, that's that's just my MO, man. You know, I just, uh, like I said, I, I, got, I feel like I got a lot of stuff inside me that I need to get out. And I noticed, like, the music, it's, it, it, you can't really just say it's in one category. You know, you know there's rock, there's everything. Do you have a favorite, or is this like whatever's in the moment? Uh... You know, I can't, yeah, I can't really say I have a favorite. Um, I just like good songs, you know. I, I, I love uh, 
passion and a, and a you know like a, a strong message. You know, somebody, someone you can feel. You know, through their heart. That that's all that really matters to me. Can you tell us one of your most highest moments is playing um, one of your gigs and one of your lowest moments? Oh, well, I guess we'll start with the lowest moments because there's mm. been so many. <laughs> <laughs> you know, playing shows, being a musician, you know, especially in L.A. is just brutal. Ooh. You know, there's been more than one show where uh, there's been, you know, less than five people in the room. Ah! You know, whatever, that's what you do, it's, yeah, that's yeah. part of it, but, um, you know, there's been good things, you know, we've, you know, the highest, you know, moments for me, I guess, have been, you know, he hearing myself on Kevin and Bean, and mm. and then singing along with my song, and, you know, opening up for Blue Oyster Call was, you know, was a great experience, um, but, uh, you know, also, you know, back in, uh, 97, you know, with Ritual, we played, uh, Milwaukee Metal Fest, and, that was a really big show, you know. That was that was probably the biggest show I ever played wow, you know, at a real early age, and uh, yeah, it was, it was great. Oh, I love it! I love it. And what is one of your um, moments where you just said, "I'm gonna keep doing this"? Have you ever felt like I want to throw the towel in, or did you just say, you know, this yeah. is something that you do? And I think I I think I've just decided, you know, a long time ago. You know, I was I was probably about 15, 16. I just was ditching school and listening to Metallica and playing guitar and I was like, well, that, that's pretty much it for me. I don't, I don't really think I want to do much else than that. So. I love it. I love it. What would you tell a musician who was getting ready to pack up his bags and say, I want to do this? What would you tell any musician? <clears throat> oh boy. You know, it... Make sure you really, really want it for the right reasons. That's wrong. Right. Make sure you want it for the right reasons, because if you don't, you're just going to kick your own ass, and it's going to eat you up. I love it. I love it. I love it. So tell us, you got some um, interesting stuff. Have you been writing some more? Do you always write? When does your writing come? Does it like happen at night? You know, when do you get that moment? Just, oh, I got to write this down right now. I, I got to no, play this up. Got, no, does it just come? Writing, you know, writing for me is sort of. Um, I, I try to be zen with it, man. I just let it happen. I love you know, it. I don't, I don't force it. You know, I, huh. I've, you know, I, I picked up a guitar to write music. You know, I, I started playing instruments to write songs. You know, that's that was always my goal was to write songs. Yeah. You know, uh, not to be a great singer, not to be like Joe Satriani or anything. I just wanted to write great songs. That's right. right. Um, so that's that's pretty much always been my focus. You know, the writing process for me. There's, I feel like there's always so much coming out that that I never want to try to force it because you know I'll have maybe you know 40 songs sort of written in my head wow. at any given time that aren't finished, but you know as you know maybe I'll just be driving along and I'll see a billboard and a word or something you know something will make sense and. Mm. That'll be a, an inspiration for some lyrics, or yeah. you know, uh, you know. Sometimes it, it's just random. I, I don't know. I, wow. I never try to force it. I just let it happen. Do you remember when you wrote, you penned your very first song? Um. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I started, you know, writing songs with, you know, my first, the first, you know, my, my high school garage band. Yeah. Um. And you know, we were all into Metallica. We were just. You know, we weren't very good at all. We were, you know, we love Metallica and Slayer. We we're all heavy metal kids, so you know, that's that's what we were kind of trying to do. So I was, you know, I was sort of uh, testing out my writing chops in, in that in that form. But you know, none of none of that stuff ever really stuck, and that, you know, that band broke up pretty quick, and, uh, and that was that. But um, I, the first thing I ever really remember writing was an instrumental song I wrote on guitar. Mm. Uh, when I was about uh, you know, 16 or 17, and uh, no, I think I was 17, and uh, yeah, it was just an instrumental song, and um, that was the first song that I really felt like I wrote, and it was like my song, and, and you know, it was like a solid song. Oh man, that's awesome! That's awesome. You know, I think about Prince because he writes, he does, he does all these different things. He comes, you know, works with all these different musicians. He has different bands and everything like that. What is it like working with band members? 
being the leader? It's pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's, you know, it's a pain in the ass, man, really. It's, it's hard. It's hard, especially in L.A. when everyone's trying to, you know, survive and also, you know, be a celebrity or whatever, yeah. you know, they're trying to do. Everyone's got their own agenda, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to keep it together. Um, but when it's, when it's flowing and it's moving, it's, it's really great. And, and it feels great and it's, and it's a lot of fun to go out and play shows and entertain people. So, you know, it's work, but, uh, you know, it's worth it when, it when it's working. I love it. Tell us a little bit about Ritual. I mean, res Resurrection. Well, uh, this is the first Ritual CD in uh, about 13 years. Um, we released some records in the 90s on a label called Wild Rags, um, which was, you know, sort of popular in the underground scene. And, uh, uh, you know, we uh, made a little name for ourselves, and I, th I sort of thought that people forgot about Ritual until I, you know, Googled it on the internet and, you know, saw people were writing reviews about it and still sort of care about it. So, you know, you know that inspired me to write a new record and uh, so I did I started writing this one in like 07 or 08 and uh, it just took this long to get it out with you know all the backed up material over the years and figuring out you know trying to figure out what direction to take it in and I love it and all that, so, yeah. oh, that's really exciting well I got my copy this is my copy everybody and it's signed and everybody this is Ian Fleming he's all of his information is going to be right here where you can go to his website where you can get his music everything about him where you can see him performing live and you got to see him perform live and everybody, I just got to say this to Ian right now. Ian, thank you for kicking it with me. Phil, thank you for letting me kick it, buddy. Woo! <laughs>